Welcome to Mini Burn. I am delighted that you have joined us uh, today and um, I'm hoping that you're really looking forward to your Mini Burn experience. Before you set off, I'm just going to give you a quick race briefing. You will begin with a three kilometre flat run. You head out on the three kilometre, straight ahead from the start arch and you're going to be following orange signs the whole way around. You just follow the signs and it will bring you all the way back around the lake um, around the back of the lake and back to the event centre. Now the most important thing with the race is the checkpoint marquee. You've got to make sure at the end of every phase you dib the checkpoints. Now if you've put your bike in transition already you would have seen checkpoints um, hanging up at the entrance of the bike transition. So you want to find the one that says run. Um, there will also be a marshal there to direct you. Make sure you put your timing chip into the control box um, and that will give you a time for your run. Once you've completed your run phase, you're then going to be going directly onto the kayaking phase. Now the lake behind me here is where you're going to be kayaking. There's gonna be two loops of that lake. Um, don't worry, you just follow the instructions of Neil and the team who will meet you there. They will help you get in the boat um, and get out the boat and if need be, give you some instruction. Um, so two loops of that and once you've finished, you drop off your buoyancy aid and your paddle and you come back to us here at the transition area to dip the kayak um, checkpoint. So you're now about to set off on your mountain biking section so make sure number one you've got your helmet, you, everyone must have a helmet on, that you've got some snacks, you've got some food, you maybe you've got your camera so you can take some photographs en route. You're then going to head out in um, the opposite direction to what you ran so towards the castle. This time you are following yellow signs. So they're big yellow signs, you can't miss them, make sure that you follow those the whole way around. When you get to about halfway, you will have the option to choose the long course or the short course. It's up to you which one you go. You'll know if you've done the long course because you get hit by a very big steep hill straight away. Um, but keep at it, you can do it, I know you can do it. Um, you get all the way to the top and there's only one checkpoint on the long course, no checkpoints on the short course. Um, right at the top of the mountain you'll see a checkpoint. Again, it will be very clearly signed. Make sure you put your timing chip into the control because then we'll know that you've done the long course on the mountain biking. If you opt for the short course, then just continue following the yellow signs that pointed short course direction and you will soon be reunited with those on the long course. You will then be coming into the event center with the lake on your right hand side and what do we need to do straight into the bike transition to dip the bike checkpoint you've then got a time for your bike phase as well so once you've dropped your bike um, at the transition area you're going to be handed an orienteering map you are now on your final phase five checkpoints stand between you and the completion of this mini burn course all you have to do is go and find them once you've done that you're going to run straight back through the finish start finish arch where you will find a control right underneath the arch that says finish once you've finished make sure that you come into the registration marquee to download your results um, so you can see how you did if you've got any questions please come and find me ask me in advance above all look after each other stay safe have a fabulous time and uh, aim for that finish line.